Hi guys, we do the usual embargo please for 10.30, um, 10.30 tonight, but with the microphones, brilliant by the way. Good afternoon Pep, thanks for joining us live on Sky Sports News. Um, we've not seen Vincent Company since the derby when he had to go off. Can you give us an update on his fitness and do you expect to have him back over the Christmas period? Good morning, it's much better. It's much, much better. I think in the next days we'll be, we'll be ready. I don't know when it's tomorrow or uh, I have to speak today. It's the last training session, we'll see. You've made no secret that you're hoping to add a central defender to your squad in January. Yeah. Knowing the January market as you do, how difficult a task do you think that will be for the club? Well, uh, John, John Stones is coming back soon as well. So we're going to decide. Uh, I said many times, we're going to try. I don't know if we'll be able because the transfer market is completely different in summertime. And, uh, and we... we we have to try a player not just for a, you know for the end of the season. We have to be for the next two, three, four years. Is it about being patient when you're trying to get your top targets? I mean, we understand that you're once again looking at Virgil Van Dijk, perhaps Johnny Evans as well, players that you've had on your radar for for a long time. Do you have to be patient to get the men you want? No, I didn't. Ne never spoke about what is our target. Uh, I know the the media are so clever, intelligent, and go the places. Were normally not the information, but I never spoke about about the players. And of course, today it depends, of course, of the, the price of the players. So, for many many things. So we will see. We will see. Can I ask you about Fernandinho and his future? Is there any word yet on whether he has signed or will be signing a new contract to stay here? Uh, he knows for a long time how important it is for for us, and uh, of course, hopefully, finish well. And you probably don't need reminding that your 16-match winning run started against Bournemouth. It was Raheem Sterling's 97th-minute winner. Do, when you look back, and, and to be the best and to win the trophies that you aspire to, do moments and individual moments like that, are they going to be key to you achieving what you need to do here? Well, it was, in, I think, in August. No, I was the 1st of September. So, of course, uh, here started like this, but... Uh, uh, it was so important because we draw the game before against Everton at home and nobody expect we were able to make 16 games in a row in that in that moment. Uh, it was so important because after that came an international break and after that came Liverpool the the game the game after and it was so important but the, the same one we won against Southampton in the last second as well in five minutes so when you are able to win a lot of games, some of them win because we play much better comfortably in terms of result, but the other games, you have to win in that situation. You cannot, you are not able to win 16 games, winning all the games with a big gap of goals. So that's why it happened. We were lucky in that moment. And hopefully tomorrow we can make a good game. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, there's reports in Spain that you've been named in a police report investigating the Catalan independence. I just wondered if you'd heard anything and what your thoughts were on it. We'll see what happened. Um, and just on the f on football, um, how's Phil Foden? He's injured. How bad is it? Do not good. You, can you say what it is? No, exactly not good, but the last fixtures will not be able. So we were lucky with uh, Rush and, and Kevin De Bruyne in the last games against Tottenham. Really, really lucky. We were unlucky with Phil against Leicester. So, so it's quite serious then? Well, it's okay, it's a ligament. We'll be out for a, for a term. So I accept really the referees has to be careful about the diving players. Okay, keep going about that, but keep going as well and be carefully to protect the players. The most important thing is protect the players. That is the first target for the, the referees. Do you have David Silva back this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Any more questions for the embargo? Before the embargo, yeah. <coughs> Hi, 
Hi Pep, it's the Classico tomorrow, it's an early kickoff. Um, will you be watching and also, what do you think Barcelona is so far ahead of Real Madrid this season? Well, I, I don't know, we'll be able to watch him, but we play, I think, one or two hours later and we'll be focused, I will try to be focused in the game against Bournemouth. Uh, in terms of points right now, it's a, it's a big distance, they remain at both teams, both teams remain at top, top teams. So, no doubt about that. So, I think in that kind of situation, the Classicos, the distance in that game is not uh, normally are so, so close. But uh, what showed that is until so far, Barcelona is better than Real Madrid. But tomorrow is a Classico, we will see what happens. Thank you. Can I ask how Raheem Sterling has uh, been this week in the light of the incident that happened around the back of the training ground before the Tottenham game? My wish is not happen again. So I think the authorities took a decision. They did, so yeah. They did, so well done. So hopefully not happen again. So. OK, thank you. And if you don't mind, just one further one about uh, the news out of Spain last night. How do you feel about the uh, Catalonia election result as it stands? But the most important thing is a lot of people vote. I think more than 81%, so it's it's really amazing. Show show Catalonia it is in the terms so in terms of votes, in terms of uh, uh, there's no deputats, there's no cause of deputats and and on I'm glad. So votes a group of Ciutadans won, so congratulations. But I think the independence, the other parts of the people from Catalonia, in terms of dependent groups, so I think the Catalonia completely understand the reality of Spain, so the reality. So Catalonia is a people who love being Catalan and accept naturally, like PP in the past or PSOE and that came through the dance. And now we try to understand from the rest of the Spain, especially in Pepe, there is a reality in Catalonia that yesterday showed clearly what they want. Uh, so before I said there was an illegal, legal uh, uh, election. Yes, there was an illegal election. And I think the Catalan people with the votes express what they are. So now hopefully it's just to think like a, like a, like a person who votes so what I want is uh, the people who is still in jail can go out as soon as possible because it's not fair, because it's just in probation jail. And the second one, the politician can start to make politics. So please, start to talk, start to talk and start to talk with the war, forget about it, the, the judges. So. And, and try to, to do the best for Catalonia and for Spain. That is everybody wants. Thank you. OK, one more for me, Barbara. Pep, just on the back of that, I just wondered if you think that this weekend's El Clasico takes on an extra significance given the political situation? No. Not for the, the fans or the people involved? No, because, no, no, I don't think so, because he's in, uh, no, I don't think so, it's a football game, so, and, and they're going to play for, for three points, I think, uh, I think the best way to, to express it was yesterday, and it was a reality, like a lot of, you know, people want to, you know, to be like uh, was in the past, and in the other part of the, the, the people, the majority, because they won, in terms of the, of the, the, the parties that won independence, they won, and they have to try to, you know, to, 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 to start again to talk with the government uh, what is the best solution for, the, for Catalonia, for Spain. Okay, guys, Zimbabwe, please, for 10.30.